Now, I know what you're thinking, not another stimulus bill, don't worry. In this video, we're just gonna simply be giving an update on the one I covered in the last video. So if you haven't seen my last video yet, the link will be down below in the description. You're gonna to wanna to watch that one before watching this one. But we covered the HEROES Act and what it entails and how it will benefit you. The HEROES Act or the Health and Economic Recovery Omnibus Emergency Solutions Act is now the main focus from the Democratic Party. After lots of new stimulus package proposals from the Democratic side, this one, the HEROES Act specifically, is gaining a ton of traction. Now, so far, the IRS has paid out over $218 billion in stimulus checks with payments being made by almost 110 million direct deposit money transfers and nearly 20 million paper checks. So what happened to the House vote? When is the Senate gonna vote? What are the revisions made to it? Is it gonna pass the Senate and thereon? We're gonna be covering that in this video, so let's dive right in. So Friday night, the House of Representatives passed the HEROES Act by a vote of 208 to 199. The bill has a lot of backlash from Republicans as it's being seen as a political bill with things and provisions in there that are totally unrelated to the current climate. And we could try a little experiment here. If you smash that like button, perhaps this would pass the Senate. Maybe it would garner some support maybe gain some attention, try it out. We may not work, I don't know, we'll see what happens, but try smashing that like button. It'll just help with the YouTube algorithm so more people, including senators and maybe the president, will watch this video. The sweeping $3 trillion legislation was dismissed by Senate Republicans with Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, deriding it as a big laundry list of pet priorities. This included cannabis banking and mail-in ballots and lots of other features you would find on the Democratic agenda. So the bill made it through the House of Representatives, but it is expected to face massive opposition from the Republican majority Senate. Republican senators have already described the bill as dead on arrival in the upper chamber, including none other than President Trump. Representative Rosa DeLauro said, the HEROES Act is a critical $3 trillion rescue for our frontline workers, cities and states, our small businesses, and it creates the kind of modern day safety net I have been fighting for with so many brave allies in and outside the US Congress. This was during the floor debate on the legislation. But the 1800 page bill only attracted one single vote of the House GOP, and that was of retiring Representative Peter King of New York. And like many of King's colleagues, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy of California, who is an ardent supporter of Donald Trump, said that the rescue package is a democratic political messaging bill that had no chance of passing the Senate. And the White House has already threatened a veto of the bill as it's currently written. Now, as we covered, the HEROES Act would have Americans receive $1,200 individually or $2,400 for a joint filing and another $1,200 stimulus check for each dependent. This is for a maximum of up to $3,600, but the reason it's facing so much criticism is that it also gives money to immigrants. Immigrants would retroactively receive the $1,200 payment they were denied under the CARES Act. The bill also includes $200 billion in hazard pay to essential workers, as well as it would extend the $600 federal payment for unemployment benefits another six months. Now, in the stimulus bill that I covered that was promoted by House Democrat Pramila J. Apal and other Democrats in the House, it would have included the Paycheck Guarantee Act. This would have meant 100% covers of workers' wages of up to $90,000 per year. Because of the economic carnage inflicted, the sponsors argued that Congress needed to think bigger and offer workers, as well as businesses, nonprofits, and local governments of all sizes a better path forward in this uncertain environment. And according to an analysis, the estimated net cost of the program would be $654 billion over six months, which is actually less than the two rounds of small business loans approved by Congress as part of the PPP or the Paycheck Protection Program. An exclusion of the Paycheck Guarantee Act led to a mini rebellion of progressives within the chamber. They initially threatened to vote against the HEROES Act, but eventually fell in line with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and voted in favor of it. And another revision that is quite substantial is that there's gonna be no recurring $2,000 monthly payments. The HEROES Act instead now includes another round of one-time direct payments or stimulus checks. So this one-time infusion of cash would provide relief for Americans that already exhausted their stimulus checks from the first round. Other people are actually still waiting to receive their checks let me know if you received one and you're still anticipating it or others that did receive it got lower than they originally anticipated so pelosi and democrats chose the route of doing one-time payments as opposed to 12 months of recurring payments and i did cover that bill that was from representatives ro Khanna, as well as tim ryan they introduced the emergency money for the people act which had attracted increasing support from other house democrats and as i covered on this channel there were other similar proposals that were introduced by pramila j appel as well as Rashida Tlaib in the House, as well as their counterparts in the Senate that would include a proposal by Ed Markey, Kamala Harris, and Bernie Sanders 
that would provide a monthly $2,000 check to those struggling to make ends meet during this time. Senator Markey said a single check is not sufficient for households that are struggling during this health and economic crisis. He said Americans need more than just one payment. And the updated bill does not include any improvements whatsoever to get money to individuals quicker and more accurately. The problems with the CARES Act were not just limited to eligibility or the duration of the payments. It involved executional mistakes like the process of the delivery of the funds. Individuals and small businesses alike were riddled with friction and complexity. So on top of the people that did not receive their checks yet under the CARES Act, the people that received a lower amount than expected were told by the IRS that they wouldn't be able to receive the difference until 2021 when they do their tax filings. So instead of spending all the time on 1,800 pages worth Worth of proposals that have nothing to do in many cases with the current situation, they could have used that time and efforts and resources to make funding a lot more accessible and easier. So when is the date for the Senate vote of the HEROES Act as many people need this emergency funding right now and right here? So as I said, Senate Republican representatives have dismissed the House's new stimulus bill as a non-starter after its release and they warned that any future aid package, if there is one at all, will not come until after the May 25th Memorial Day recess. Senator Roy Blunt, a Republican from Missouri, said that it would be after the recess. This is what he told reporters earlier in the week when asked about when the Senate would begin serious talks about another stimulus bill. And a Republican whip, John Thune of South Dakota, also expressed that the May 25th recess was a pitiful point for this bill. He said, quote, my guess is before the Memorial Day recess is unlikely. I don't think those are things you can do quickly. It will probably be a part of a larger bill that will happen later. So for everyone hoping this bill, it probably won't pass the Senate, let alone get Trump's signature. However, some of the included provisions may be used to form new bills coming up in the future that would pass both chambers as well as get Trump's approval. The White House has signaled that it may support providing more money to state and local governments, although Trump may insist on less than the $875 billion the House Approved Heroes Act would provide. Democratic Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont was among the governors, both Democratic and Republican, who lobbied for more federal aid. He said, quote, Governors of both parties spoke with a unified voice when we asked Congress to deliver urgently needed relief to state and local governments and the citizens we serve. In a statement, he said, the HEROES Act answers the call. So some congressional Republicans have voiced that they may be open to another round of funding and stimulus checks. However, it might be less than what the HEROES Act entails. The first round of stimulus checks were only delivered to verified, legit Americans with social security numbers as a way to prevent illegal immigrants from obtaining this money. But the left argued that this would hurt specifically mixed families, including 1.2 million Americans who are married to undocumented citizens. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell mocked Democrats for this idea, saying, quote, we forgot to have the Treasury Department send money to people here illegally. He said, my goodness, what an oversight. Thank goodness Democrats are on the case. McConnell and other Republicans have argued that we should wait to see and determine the full impact of the previous round of stimulus checks as it's added trillions of dollars of debt and balloon the deficit. But Democrats have been explicit in saying that there's an urgent need for more federal help, like Representative Johanna Hayes of the 5th District said that I voted for the HEROES Act today because it is a bill for the people at a time when the people need it most. Quote, further assistance cannot wait. Congress must act now. So while this almost definitely will not pass the Senate and definitely not Trump's signature, it can have features in it that we would see in future bills that would appear and so you could hope on that as we try to get some bipartisan support for another stimulus package. So like I mentioned in the other stimulus videos, what do you think is the way to go here? What do you think is the solution? Should we cancel all rent and mortgage? Should we have one-time payments? Should it be monthly? Should we just have people not working for 12 months straight? Should we extend unemployment benefits? What do you think is the ideal solution if it was a utopia? What do you think? Tell me down below in the comments. Voice your opinions. Don't get too heated. A little discourse, some safe discourse and I'll ask you some questions, you know, we'll have some discussion. Tell me down below in the comments what you think. But I hope you enjoyed that update. There will definitely be more videos to come and probably more stimulus proposals as this looks like it is going to be dead on arrival. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash that like button, and if you'd like to see more videos from my channel, be sure that you are subscribed. I post videos every single week covering business finance, entrepreneurship, mindset, strategy, and tips and tricks from my own experience. Be sure that you're subscribed. I post videos every single week without fail. I never ever miss. It's free to subscribe, so you should do it. And if you'd like to be notified every single time I make a new video, so that you're first in line to see it before anyone else, be sure that you do click that little notification bell as well. Stay notified every single time I make a new video. See you in the next one.